Donald Trump and Cheryl Cassoni. What more needs to be said? Cheryl. You know, David, uh, we just finished an interview just moments ago with Donald Trump, presidential candidate Donald Trump here at the Trump Winery just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. But nothing was off the table when it comes to Mr. Trump and the issue of politics. And we started asking about, of course, what else? His views on the U.S. economy. Take a listen. When you look at what's going on with our country, we're losing jobs. We have a negative GDP, gross national product. And it's very sad when you see what's happening. And they'll build huge plants in Mexico and China. They'll build them all over the world. And here we're like, you know, why not here? And our real unemployment rate's probably 21%. Somebody the other day said on one of the shows, on one of your shows actually, they said it could be 40%. Yeah. And it might very well be. But I always say it's 19 to 21%, the real number. And it's a shame. And we have to bring jobs back. And if I was president, I would get them back. All right, let's talk about that. Because one of the things that's changed, I think, is, as a businessman, and I've always known you in New York as a businessman, now that you are um, a, a political candidate, I think that basically that, that business has been affected. We saw one um, estimate that maybe $50 million of yeah. Trump organizations value was was pulled away. Can you talk about that? Well, you have companies like Macy's that want to be politically correct, even though they're doing very bad things for this country. You know, you look at Macy's the way they just bailed so quickly and, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and then they want to bail. Uh, and you know what? Macy's is having their credit cards cut up. People are boycotting Macy's. It's amazing. And then you look at some of the others. And then others like ESPN. I mean, ESPN was a golf outing and it was all over the world. The Trump lost to ESPN. They were a golf outing. We just already rented it to somebody else. The other one was uh, NASCAR. Mm -hmm. That was a banquet. Everyone said, oh, it's too bad you lost NASCAR as a partner. They were renting Trump National Doral for an evening of ballroom. Sure. So, you know, it gets exaggerated. But still, it's a lot of money. And I don't care because much more importantly, it, you know, what I'm doing is something to make our country right. great again. We can make this country great again. But we have incompetent leaders. We have people that don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Uh, obviously, one of the things that, that developed over the weekend was you've now got a Mexican drug lord going after you on Twitter. I asked Eric this earlier. Are you worried about security? Are you worried about safety? Are you worried about the backlash that all of this has caused? Well, it's not backlash. People have now found out I was right. And the country of Mexico is sending a lot of bad people over here. They're sending people that maybe should be in their jails. A lot of great people are here. But you're having illegals come in. They're causing tremendous problems, tremendous amounts of crime. And I've been bringing it out. I respect Mexico. If they can get away with it, I think it's great. Their leaders are smarter than our leaders. They're sharper. They're more cunning than our leaders. And frankly, if Mexico can get away with it, I, my hat's off to them. But uh, the fact is that I've made a point. The point has now been accepted. It was very hot a week ago. Now everybody's saying Trump is right. We just read your statement on the air just a few moments ago about Hillary Clinton. You called her a sad candidate. Well, she's a sad candidate. I mean, you look at what's happening to her. She's collapsing. The campaign is collapsing. I wouldn't be surprised if she lost just like she did to Obama. It's the same thing happening all over again because people don't dig her. She comes out with a statement about me today. The tone, my tone isn't nice. It's not about tone. It's about competence. It's about getting results. And that's the problem with us. We want to be tone. Everything has to be so perfect in terms of tone. I want perfect in terms of results, much more important. Let's talk about, about the issue of Iran, another big story that's ready. How would you deal with Iran? How well, would I President the, Trump do that? I think the deal is horrible. I think the deal is absolutely horrible for us, but it's really, really bad for Israel. And you know, just one thing, we have four people over there, prisoners that they're keeping, hostages, whatever you want to call them. That's not part of the deal. Why isn't that part of the deal? Why are we giving them all the money back? Keep the money, make a deal, keep the money. Why are we doing that? And most importantly, we don't have the right to unfettered go in there and check whenever we want to, anytime, anywhere. We don't have the right to do that. So what kind of a deal is it? We know they're going to cheat. We know that. We also know the Persians are great negotiators. And frankly, I think the deal is terrible. And it's certainly bad for Israel. You're here again to support Eric. It's about the winery today. Do you even like wine? Well, I'm not a big drinker, to put it mildly, but I'm very proud of Eric. And, you know, we have, according to all of the magazines, we have some of the best wines in the world right here. And it's been a, it's really been a pleasure. John Kluge was a friend of mine. He was a great gentleman. And, you know, to take this over and to bring it back to health was a lot of fun. You got a great deal on this place. We are going to close with that, but you got a great deal on I did? the particular well, on this estate. I, I mean, this I knew is how, smart business on your It's called part. I Know How to Negotiate, and that's what the country has to do. The, the country has to do with trade deals with China with Japan, with everybody, with Mexico, has to do like I did here. And they can do it, but we don't have our great negotiators. We have people that are incompetent negotiating trade deals for us, so we can't do it. We need to bring jobs back to the United States. 
Well, David, a lot of jobs are going to be had right here at the Trump winery. Again, Mr. Trump here to support his son, Eric. But it was all about politics and, of course, about the run for the presidency. 2016, David Asman. And real quick, if I have a moment, I got to tell you when the interview ended, one of the lights almost fell on me. Guess who saved me? Donald Trump. Wow. That's the kind wow. of guy. What I he wanted was to today. see was the footage yeah. of you actually running and tackling him to make sure that you got the interview because <laughs> I heard it was just spectacular. <laughs> Uh, I had to push aside a couple of other networks, I and I had no did. problem doing so. <laughs> Good for you, Cheryl Cassoni. <laughs> we love your gumption. Thank you, you very much. Well.